Hey everybody, this is Steve Moore, owner of Run More, this brick and mortar running shop located in Westminster, Maryland. Today, we're very excited to talk about a brand new shoe from Ultra. This is the Ultra Via Olympus. This is a big shoe. This is a brand new max cushion neutral shoe. Um, you know, when I first opened, uh, there was a brand that we carry here called Hoka, and uh, I had a rep from another my, one of my brands I work with, went over and picked up one of their shoes and was like, this fad's never gonna last. This is gonna be a you know come and go type thing. Nobody's gonna wanna wear shoes that look like this. Nobody's gonna wanna wear a shoe that's sort of oversized like that. Well, clearly he was wrong, because now we see pretty much all brands out there are trying to kind of go after that big boy, oversized, super plush looking shoe. I mean, quite honestly, we've seen not just from Ultra with something like this, but we've seen like even the new Brooks Glycerin that came out, they're really trying to pump up their shoes to make them look as comfortable as these shoes look. And quite honestly, when you see somebody walking by in a shoe like this, I know at least for me, it makes my eyes kind of go to them and go, that looks really comfortable. I think at first there was trepidation when people were seeing that type of shoe out that people kind of looked, I don't want to say ridiculous, but like that looks so different. It looked like, you know, the kind of shoes that George Costanza was wearing in Seinfeld when he was trying to teach himself how to jump higher. That's what these looked like. But now they're so synonymous with just comfort and cushion and you see them from caddies on the PGA Tour to professional athletes when they're walking around. This is the type of thing people are wearing now because they're unbelievably cushiony, they're unbelievably comfortable. And so this is Ultra's really big step into trying to kind of go after that market space in a big, big boy, max cushion neutral shoe. Years ago, they had a shoe that was sort of in the same category called the Duo. And it was out for two models and it kind of just didn't work out that well. It had a lot of great potential there, but it kind of broke down fast. It didn't have a great heel to it. So they were sort of dipping their toes in that water years ago. And now they're finally back with a version that I think they're happy to put their stamp on because this is a great shoe. This has a really nice, super tall stack height. It's very light and it features Ultra's Ego max midsole. So this is the same midsole that's used in the popular model like the Torin. So it has that really nice, soft, yet energetic midsole to it. And one of the reasons why they're calling this Olympus is like the Olympus, this has their biggest width to it. This is an original width shoe. And I think that's one of the things that Ultra has really been missing in a lot of their lines is they don't have enough shoes that are in their original fit. And that's one of the main reasons that people got into this brand years ago was that it was so different with their foot shaped rounded toe box. And really they're still leading the game when it comes to that, but they're starting to get a lot of models that are more in their standard fit and slim fit. And I think, well, I know because I, I read the, the comments in our YouTube, I see people coming in here saying, I wish they had more shoes that were more accommodating because even somebody that has a standard fit, a standard size, kind of standard size foot, some of the Ultra shoes just aren't quite wide enough. Even though it looks like it should, you look at a shoe from an Ultra and you'll say, my foot should fit perfectly there, but there are models that just aren't all the same width. This is where they started. This original fit is where they began. So this is gonna make people very happy because this is extremely accommodating width and it's an extremely comfortable shoe. This being a neutral shoe, meaning it doesn't have extra guidance along the midfoot, uh, along the arch on the inside or the outside shoe. So if you're somebody who have lots of pronation issues, maybe not the best model for you, but if you're somebody who's been running in something like a Hoka Bondi or a Brooks Glycerin or a New Balance 1080, some of those other big boy shoes out there on the market, this is gonna be something that's gonna be nice for you to sort of transition and pivot to because it has sort of that same amount of arch profile as those popular models. Quite honestly, even the neutral shoes from Ultra, I actually think are a little more stable than some of the other shoes out there from some of the other brands that we carry in that neutral category. I just think something about being in that zero drop like all Ultra shoes where your heel and toe are on the same platform, it's some, for whatever reason for me, I find myself a little more stable in this shoe and I think because it almost mimics how I stand when I'm barefoot and I'm, I'm quite neutral but I feel like I still have some arch that's holding my foot up a little bit in ultra shoes and this shoe is the same way. Now one other thing that people are going to have a lot of questions about is this shoe is a zero drop shoe from Ultra, but it has a little bit of a rocker to it. So again, they're trying to find a shoe that has a little bit more efficiency through the toe box. And you can see there are some shoes from Ultra, like, like an Escalante, that feel very, very flat all the way across the board, where this has got the zero drop, but you can feel a little bit more efficiency through the toe box as you're towing through it. Again, they're trying to find a shoe that has that nice, rolly feel to it, 
big soft feel to it, nice wide toe box. They've really, really, and I think this is gonna be a, a home run for Ultra because of how comfortable this shoe is and because it's so accommodating. People have been looking for a model like this from Ultra for some time since the Duo 1 and 2 went away. They've been looking for something to fill that void and I think this is where this shoe will fall in very nicely against other shoes in that category. It is a pretty expensive shoe, but it falls in line with other shoes in that, in that category. This is a $170 shoe. Um, so, you know, you have to know what you're looking for. If you're looking for that high mileage shoe, this is gonna be a great option for you. And if you're somebody who's looking to train for a fall marathon, you want something that's gonna be super protective underfoot, that's gonna give yourself, where you're not feeling the ground every step, this is it. Or if you're somebody who's looking for more of a professional shoe that you can wear to work, something that you can wear every day and give yourself nice cushy, this is gonna be a great model for you. Comes in a lot of fun colors. Again, you know, you kind of hold this shoe up or other shoes in that category, and they just look more comfortable than some of the other stuff that you see on our wall. So this is the Ultra Via Olympus coming out November of 2022. If you want to purchase this fine shoe, feel free to go through our website. We'll have a link down below. And if you use promo code RUNMORE, you'll save 10% on this model or any new ones out there. And if you're curious, um, please leave us questions down below. We love looking at them and answering them, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And if you can like and subscribe to our channel, it certainly helps helps us find new people. Um, my little tagline for now is adventure is out there as long as you have the right shoes. Might be my last tagline. We'll see. Anyway, thanks so much for watching.